Think you need a super complex custom bot to make it the FTC World Championships? Truth is, smart simplicity with parts you already have can get you there. Today at the Into the Deep World Championships, Team 24461 will show you how the straightforward, no-nonsense design using many off-the-shelf parts made them worlds competitive. If your team wants a clear path to high performance without overcomplicating things, this is critical. I'm Coach Pratt, and with over 10 years coaching FTC national champions and Inspire Award winners, I know that smart, simple designs perform well. Team 24461 is going to walk us through their bot, their intake, their outtake, and how common parts got them to worlds. You'll see you don't need to reinvent the wheel to compete at the top. Here's a quick breakdown of the 2024 FTC Seasons game Into the Deep. The game is played on a 3x3 meter field with two alliances with two robots on each red and blue alliance respectively. Robots had to go into the center structure to collect plastic rectangular prisms and place them in the respective baskets on the corners of the field for 8 points. Or they could bring a sample to a human. This human adds a special clip to the plastic piece and then that allows the robot to hang this piece from the center bar for 10 points. In the last stages of the match, the end game, robots can hang from the bottom rung for 15 points, or grab the bottom bar, lift themselves up off the ground, and then grab the top bar and lift themselves up for 30 points. There are more complexities to the game, but that's a rough idea. Now, let's see how this robot managed those challenges. An active intake, yeah. Shorter, uh -huh. so we can just like grab it like that hmm. with a servo, and we. It almost it. looks like it works great, even just as a passive intake. Yeah, just as a passive. Yeah, you just can yep. grab it. Yeah, different angle, uh -huh. and after we have a even a rail that can extend with two servo. Yep, be able to wear a different level uh -huh. distance in the. I don't hmm. remember the term, but the middle of the the game, and you're using a two bar linkage drive. This this is three D printed. Yeah, they remember it. Yeah. Yeah, just like, yeah, we just start one, uh, two, two for one uh, reissue. Yeah, we use it with the baby and we can just uh, okay. make it. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah, really smooth, really simple. And here we use this uh, virtual four ball uh, yep. coax show. Yeah. Because we can make it turn around. So after that, we can go here. You ever find that this cable gets caught in your gears? Oh, never. I, I never? never? Okay. okay. It goes pretty well. Oh. Nice. Yeah, it looks like it's almost just on the cusp, right? Yeah, yeah but yeah. hasn't managed to catch it out. Next place. Beautiful. We can extend the URL at that. Okay, and, yep. And we can do a direct transfer between... Oh, it pushes up, up into it. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to grab it off the other point, you push up into it. I'm assuming clearly you can get high basket then. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And maybe a sample on the I uh, I will really reverse like that. Hey you guys want to grab it up? Wait, yeah, and wait, on wait. the second bar we really yeah. reverse yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 I assume that's oh actually no, you have a gear reduction. Yeah. Is that enough of torque do you find for your servo to hold this at ninety degrees to go in and grab yeah, your you can do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. It just yeah, a bit weak on the, the physics. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Yep. it just Good. a bit Language. weak. Like when you have that, you have a little ability. Mm -hmm. So we we turn that one first, yep. and then we go up because yep. this, this match. Yeah. Yeah. And what's this little tuck for? Oh, Is it's that a passive hold? Basically, when the auto end sometimes we end too early and we do stuff. So it's an order because if we don't have that, we just go inside the gear and we'll be stuck for the game. Yeah. Yeah, it crunches, probably crunches up your cables pretty nasty, I would imagine, yeah, and this yeah. gets caught up inside. Oh. And okay. we have a passive uh, scissor yep. for our <laughs> cable. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's very easy to manage. Yep. Yep. Uh, and we don't, we didn't see, uh, we didn't, we can really see it uh, here. But yep. We have a, a gearbox. We made a gearbox uh, yep. to get like the two lever to make them. Uh, and is that gearbox driving belt yeah. to make there that There is a going? belt right here. Yeah. There is a okay. belt and we have an absolute encoder. Yeah. So like if the belt skip, yeah. it will still go to the right gear. Yeah. Okay. And why did you decide to add an extra plate here to go all the way up? To all the the, uh, the channel for the Gobelda rail. Yeah. Like it okay. was more easy to just buy some Gobelda kit 
Yeah, put it on the robot. Yep. Because the CGEP, we don't have much time. So mm -hmm. we're pretty much like studying in a natural science and, yep, technical. Yep. What we had is like automatic robots on the under yep. the robots for the autonomous. Yeah, and you have two X, one Y. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We wanted to do it like Colombian color, but we just did it at times. Yeah. What are you most proud of on this robot? I think the simple concept. Yeah, the simplicity. Yeah, it's pretty simple. We're yep. on the pretty much and then forth and like uh, pretty much all the week just done, but yeah. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I really like yeah. your intake. That's quite. Yeah. Yeah. It's simple and it works well. And the V to be able to help align that system up when it goes. Yeah. Have you found this has been pretty reliable for you? Yeah. Pretty yeah. Reliable. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not giving... Any distance color sensors on no, this, no, or no, is no, it all no, auto aligned? Yeah. We can 